Welcome back everyone. Well, let's get started on this, shall we? So, I'm just going to kind of work as I go and I'll video what I can as I do this. Step one, I want to take the rest of these decals off. So obviously this isn't going to be a bus anymore, so I might as well get rid of all this. But, I think that one's already been removed. I'll have to take a look. I need to get rid of everything that makes it seem like it's part of the school process. So I've already painted over the stop sign. I'll be taking the sign and the armature off in a little bit. But, to start out with, these are easy. So let's just get going. There are obviously multiple ways to take decals off of things. You can use a razor blade. You can use a scraper. Uh, because I'm planning on repainting this, I could certainly just take a flap disc to it and just run over all of them. But I think I'm going to try just using a heat gun. So, this is what I got and what I'm going to use. Let me see if I can actually see what I'm looking at here. If anybody knows how to keep the screens on on these things, let me know. So I'm just going to use this standard heat gun like you would use for heat shrink. So it's a little bit chilly out. Hopefully it'll still get things warm enough, but uh, I'm just going to start warming this up and see what comes off.
Well, that's a start anyway. Uh, it's definitely a lot cooler this evening than when I started on the bus. So what I did on the back wall here, it's about oh, 25 degrees. So not cold, but uh, the heat gun isn't working quite as well as it was on the side. Uh, what you see on the driver's side, the first section that I did, this over here, this section I took off, it was probably about 45 degrees. So as you could tell, this one went a lot faster. Back here in the back, had a couple of things that were causing me some trouble. So the lettering down here in the corner came off nice and easy. Up top here, I took off the emergency door decals. There's a little bit left behind on the O there, but otherwise it's good. I do need to take off that school bus reflective sticker, and I really want to take off the rest of all this reflective vinyl as well. I mean, I'm planning on repainting the whole thing. I may put some reflective vinyl at least back on the sides, but I don't want it yellow. Uh, I might use black or something like that to kind of blend into whatever I'm planning on doing for a uh, final color. But just as long as this is, it'd be nice to have a little bit of extra visibility along the side just in case somebody's coming up next to me. However, what I found out was when I start heating these things, they just kind of come apart. So here, let me show you down here where I tried. So if you can see right up here in this upper corner, it just kind of flakes off. And I had the same problem up top up there because the school sticker is all one sticker. Uh, it doesn't have letters attached to the top of the reflective. So I don't know. I might try that one again with heat after it's a little bit warmer outside. Or the other option, I may just uh, get a wire wheel for my grinder and just go at it. I can always spray over that with uh, primer if necessary. But anyway, all of the reflective stuff is going to come off at some point eventually. So... We'll keep working on it, and I'll see you over the next horizon.